it seems to me that there are essentially two conversations that we're called to carry on with in our life. There's a conversation of truth and there's a conversation of love. And our creativity as a human being has a whole lot to do with our ability to carry on those two conversations. The conversation of truth is about being intelligent. It's about understanding. It's about seeing at depth what's really happening in our life. It's about carrying on a conversation that allows a new idea to be present, a new concept, a new vision, a new dream. It seems to me that arrogance is the enemy of an intelligent conversation. It's hard to carry on an intelligent conversation in arrogance. The conversation becomes about something else. It becomes about being right. It becomes about showing off, about trying to prove my stature, Maybe the stature of my intellect. It's such a joy to carry on a truly intelligent conversation. Which is not about any of those things. And therefore is allowed to go to what is really true. Not just what is really ultimately true. But what's really true in this situation. What's true of you. What's true of me what's true of the creative field and what which we're working, what's really happening. So there's a conversation of truth that we have to carry on in our lives. And when we're selfless, we enter that conversation deeply. And it's fun and creative. There's another conversation to have which is the conversation of love. Now, using that word, we may think of lovers. We may think of romance. But I say that every relationship has the possibility of a conversation of love. It may not be the head-over-heels kind of love, but it can be a conversation about care, about affection, about bringing out the best of another. It's a conversation that builds connection. It's a conversation that confirms our oneness, confirms our togetherness. It confirms our belonging. It confirms our nobility. That is what a conversation of love does. Love is by its nature generous. Love is giving. To carry on a conversation of love, you have to have a sense of inner abundance. A sense that you have something to give to another person. And that when you give it, you have more to give yet. That this isn't a zero-sum game. So that when you've given something of yourself to another person, you have less. No, the conversation of love is conducted by people who know that when they engage in that conversation, that they have more. That when they've given something, they're enhanced. They're not diminished. Conversation of love amplifies our connection, our oneness, our togetherness. It confirms that we have something to do together and that we have the opportunity to know our nobility all the more in that conversation when we are loving. 